Life is the present moment. Only the present is life. If we are not present, we look without seeing, listen without hearing, eat without tasting. Dwelling in the present moment is the only way to truly develop peace within ourselves and in the world. Mindfulness can free us from anxieties and worries instead of clinging to the past or the future. We can learn to live in the present moment. Do not worry about the tasks you need to accomplish. Do not think about getting up or leaving to do something. Do not think about leaving where you are. Stay here and now. If you are stressed, you think so much about the future that the present is reduced to a means to get there and you treat the current moment as an obstacle that needs to be overcome. Know that stress arises when we are in the present but wish to be in the future. This creates an internal division. Living with this division is insane. The fact that everyone acts this way does not make anyone less insane since the future never arrives. This way of living is pointless, causing a constant feeling of discomfort tension, and dissatisfaction. We must exercise this practice of alerting the mind. The practice of mindfulness, an alert mind, frees us from forgetfulness and dispersion, enabling us to fully live each present moment for this. We need to use breathing a natural and extremely important instrument to prevent dispersion. Breathing is the link that connects consciousness to life that unites the body to the mind. Keep the mind alert for a long time, it is necessary to observe breathing for an equivalent amount of time whenever your mind starts to wander. Use your breathing to regain. Control inhale lightly and slowly, aware that you are inhaling. Then exhale equally aware that you are exhaling. Always be aware that you are inhaling and exhaling. Having control of your breath is having control over your body and mind. Whenever we feel out of control, we should use the method of observing our breath to recover. Measuring following and controlling the breath are powerful tools that enable us to control the mind and to gain control of the mind and calm it. We must also be alert to our feelings and perceptions, observing and recognizing each feeling or thought that arises. Sensations and feelings come and go like clouds in a turbulent sky. Conscious breathing is our anchor. If the practitioner is able to see clearly how their mind works, they can achieve results with little effort. Otherwise, all their effort will be wasted. There is only one way to know the mind to observe and recognize everything about it. And this must be done all the time, not just during meditation moments, but also in daily life. If each person meditates for an hour a day, that's good, but in fact this time is still insufficient. One must practice meditation while walking. Standing, sitting, lying down, working, running, talking with friends, whatever. One is doing chopping wood, is meditating. Carrying water, is meditating. Keep the mind alert 24 hours a day, not just during formal meditation hours. Reading sacred texts or praying. An alert mind means being awake to the present reality, to the here and now. The mind is inevitably dragged by thoughts. So if someone wants to keep their mind alert, they must be attentive not only during meditation periods, but also in their daily routine. Each of us already possesses the seed of mindfulness. The mind must be alert in every act walking. The practitioner must be aware that they are walking sitting. They must be aware that they are sitting lying down. They must be aware that they are lying down. The practitioner... ER must be aware of any position of their body. We must be aware of each breath, each movement, each thought, and feeling of anything related to us. How can we busy with so much work? Engage in the practice of mindfulness. The answer is fully, focus your attention on the work you are doing, constantly being ready to skillfully and intelligently control any situation that arises. This is alerting the mind, and alert mind is nothing more than having all your attention focused on the action you're doing. Being able to use your full discernment, for example, while you are walking towards the city, you can exercise the practice of mindfulness with an alert mind. It will vividly experience walking along the path that is leading to the city. Mechanical thinking is the opposite of an alert mind. If we are truly alert while walking, we will consider the act of each step as an infinite wonder, and a joy will blossom in our hearts like a flower, allowing us to 
enter the world of reality when the mind has gained control of itself. When it no longer feeds on illusions, it will become the true mind. The true mind is our true self, the absolute unity that cannot be divided by the illusory separateness of things created by concepts and language. Generally, people consider it a miracle to walk on water or in the air. But I think the real miracle is to walk on earth every day. We are participating in a miracle that we do not have the capacity to recognize. Everything is a miracle. Nothing is more precious than being in the present moment, totally alive, totally conscious. Here and now, living in the past, where the future can trap us, causing worries and robbing us of the value of the present mindfulness or focusing on the present moment is the key to a healthier life with less anxiety and greater resilience to stress. Limiting technology, use meditating and observing nature are helpful ways to cultivate mindfulness. Flow is an absorbing and rewarding experience that happens when we are fully engaged in an activity, controlling our attention, adopting new perspectives. Recognizing flow and transforming routine tasks can help us experience this sensation more frequently in our daily lives. Finding a balance between challenge and our abilities is crucial to enjoying these moments. Additionally, limiting technology use is crucial to reducing distractions and stress in our lives. Monitoring and setting limits on technology use can help us stay more present, aware, and in control of our lives. Observing nature is a simple and effective way to cultivate mindfulness. Admiring its beauty can awaken feelings of joy and peace, reducing stress and a sense of isolation by practicing nature observation. We can learn to appreciate the small details around us and value the present moment. Remember that the present moment is all we have, and by fully valuing it, we can achieve greater awareness and a deeper connection with ourselves and others. Commit to staying present, cultivating mindfulness in all aspects of your life. By doing so, you will discover a new perspective on life, filled with meaning and satisfaction. Live each moment as if it were the most valuable, because it is the only moment that truly matters. The world we live in is full of distractions and constant demands that can cause us to lose focus on the present moment. The incessant noise of technology, social pressures, and expectations imposed on us often prevent us from fully experiencing the now. It is essential, therefore, to find ways to disconnect from this frenzy and rediscover the beauty of the present to develop a mindful ad attitude. It is important to recognize that the past and the future are mere mental concepts. They do not exist in the present moment, and by clinging to them we deprive ourselves of the richness of the present experience we must remember that each moment is unique and irreplaceable, and only through full immersion in it can we extract its true meaning. Being present does not mean avoiding planning or reflecting on the future. It is essential to balance contemplation of tomorrow with immersion in today. Another crucial aspect is learning to really listen to others. Often while someone is talking to us, our minds are already formulating responses or judgments before we even hear what they are really saying. The practice of active listening involves being fully present for the person we are interacting with showing genuine empathy and understanding. Strive so that when you are in a social interaction, your mind can be empty to the point of being free of thoughts outside of what is being said in the interaction. Often we are too hard on ourselves, judging ourselves harshly for our failures and imperfections. With self-compassion, we allow ourselves to be human, accepting our weaknesses and forgiving ourselves for our mistakes. This allows us to live the present with more lightness and compassion. It is essential to accept that the human mind is naturally prone to wander instead of constantly fighting against arising thoughts. We can try to observe them without judgment and gently redirect our attention to the present moment. It's not about eliminating thoughts, but developing the ability to choose where we place our attention frequently. Our thoughts and beliefs create false impressions that obscure our perception of reality. What if we realize that what we remember and imagine is not authentic, but a product of our mind's creation. Our minds tend to create a subjective reality filled with thoughts, memories, and imaginations. However, none of these things are real. 
They are merely constructs of our mind's attempt to make sense of the world to truly understand our true nature. We must free ourselves from these illusions and be present in the moment. The past and future are not real. They are just fragments of our imagination. The present moment is the only thing that exists. And it is in this moment that we can experience the essence of who we really are. Being our authentic selves requires no effort, as it is our innate state of being. We need to abandon the mind's illusions and accept the beauty and tranquility of reality. Often we get so caught up in our thoughts and mental constructions that we lose touch with what is truly true. Our thoughts about the past, present, and future are not authentic. They are just mental constructions to understand our true nature. We need to abandon these thoughts and exist in the present moment. The mind creates illusions of the past and the future, but in reality only the present moment exists. Memories are just imagined experiences, and the future is merely mental construct. It's easy for our imagination to deceive us and blind us from reality to truly experience our authentic self. We must recognize that no word, concept, or thought can define what is real. We are not merely a body or mind, but consciousness and perception. The past and future are illusions. While the present is the only reality, it is up to us to decide whether we choose to live in the mind's reality, where suffering and illusion seem to exist, or in the heaven, where we... Experience peace, joy, and unconditional love in heaven. External circumstances have no power over our experience, and the mind's illusions have no influence. The key is to experience the truth of what we are not. Try to understand it intellectually. Time and mind are intertwined. If time is removed from the mind, it ceases to exist unless you choose to use it. Identifying with the mind means being trapped in time. Concerned with memories and future possibilities, this creates a lack of recognition and respect for the present moment. However, the compulsion arises because the past gives us an identity, and the future holds the promise of fulfillment, both being mere illusions. Although time may seem precious, it is actually an illusion. The most precious thing is the present moment, which is beyond time when we focus on time. We lose the present moment, which is the only constant factor in our lives. The present moment is the only thing that exists. It is the space where our entire life unfolds. It is also the only point that can take us beyond the mind's limitations and into the timeless realm of being. Therefore, we must learn to use time while L and focus on being present in the now. The past shapes our identities and influences how we perceive and act in the present, while our future goals inform the actions we take now. However, trying to understand this intellectually is not enough. It must be experienced directly. The past and future are mere reflections of the eternal present, just as the moon reflects the light of the sun. Memories of the past are just reactivations of moments that were once present, while thoughts about the future are projections of the mind. The essence of this truth cannot be understood by the mind. It requires a shift in consciousness from the mind to being. From time to presence, once you experience this shift, you will feel a sense of vitality and energy radiating from within you. Take a moment to listen and perceive the profound truth of existence. The truth is that the present moment is all that exists, and the past and future are merely illusions created by the mind. Understanding this truth can help you experience life in a much more meaningful way. By focusing on what is real in the present moment, you can let go of all the stories and beliefs your mind has created and start experiencing your true self. When you are fully present, you are aware of everything that is happening around you. Do not need to imagine or think about anything you can simply be. You can feel, see, hear, and touch everything in the moment, allowing you to experience life as it is without judgment or interpretation being present, allows you to perceive the truth and recognize the illusions created by the mind. 
The reality of the mind leads to a constant search for happiness, but it remains unattainable. It creates the belief that something is missing, but that thing is not real. The reality of the mind also causes an attempt to escape the present moment, which is the only moment that exists. Living in the truth means realizing that you are already complete and whole and that there is nothing you need to seek outside yourself. This understanding allows you to experience life with a sense of peace, joy, and unconditional love. You see the world from a different perspective and your experiences become richer and more rewarding. As a result, our constant concern with the past and the future is futile. As thoughts are mere illusions to understand our true nature, we must recognize that no thought concept or word can bring us close closer to the truth of who we are. Our true self is present here and now, beyond the limitations of body and mind. Consider the concept of the past. If we can understand this, it can transform our lives. The past is merely a mental construct and does not actually exist. Even memories are creations of the mind, which are essentially imagined. Only the present moment is real, and if we observe around us, we will discover that memories are nowhere to be found. The same is true for the future, which is nothing more than a mental projection. Our mental stories and projections of the future have no reality, as we never experience the future as it is always. Now we have two choices of reality. One where we live in the illusions of the mind and suffer from delusion and a false sense of self. Or another where we live in a heavenly state of knowing that we are everything and experience peace joy, and unconditional love. It is important to realize that our external world has no power over our experience as everything happens within us, not to us. The only true moment is the present, and the illusions of the past and the future have no influence over our energy. It is time to awaken to the truth of our consciousness and experience the indescribable beauty within us. The key to understanding this truth lies in the present moment, by accepting and embracing this idea. We can overcome the illusions of the past and future and access the richness of life that exists in the present moment being present. We can fully experience life as it is without being hindered by the mental constructs that obscure our perception, finding inner peace, Joy and unconditional love while seeing the world in a new and rewarding way is possible by living in this truth. Therefore, let us embrace this truth and remain present in every moment of our lives. When the E now becomes the focus of your life, everything flows more easily. Paying attention to the present moment creates a state of alertness, as if you were waking up from a dream. The dream of thought, the dream of the past and future in this state. There is no space to create problems. There is only this moment as it is surrender to the now. When you dive into the present moment, you transcend the content of your mind. That incessant flow of thoughts calms down and does not consume all your attention. Then a precious interval arises between them, a space of silence and tranquility. You begin to realize that your being is greater and deeper than your thoughts in the rush of everyday life. We all think too much, desire too much, seek too much, and forget. To simply appreciate being to feel life pulsing in our bodies, this recognition arises when you root yourself in the now. The present moment is as it is always has been and always will be because it cannot be otherwise. Focus your attention on the now and you will see that life is sacred. There is something profoundly sacred. Secret in everything you perceive when you concentrate on the present. The division of life into past, present, and future is a construction of the mind and, ultimately, Auser the past can only be remembered now, and the future when it arrives will be now. Therefore, the only real thing, the only thing that always exists, is the now. The experience we always have is of the present moment, and the best that occurs within it. If we rely only on direct evidence, then time does not exist. The now is all that exists always, and only when we resist what is happening, we become subject to events, 
and the world begins to determine our happiness or unhappiness, creating internal resistance to what already is, would be insane. What could be more insane than opposing life the now is and always will be? Surrender wherever you are, be fully present, if you believe that here and now are intolerable and bring you unhappiness. You have three options. Withdraw from the situation, change the situation, or accept it fully. If you want to be responsible for your life, you must choose one of these three options, and you must choose now. Accept the consequences as long as you do not take responsibility for this exact moment. The now. You are not taking any responsibility for your life. Taking responsibility for the present moment is being in harmony with life. Complaining is always a non-acceptance of what is. When you complain, you become a victim. So change the situation, take some action, leave it, or accept it fully. Anything else is likely a form of madness, a victim trap. If there is no action you can take and you also cannot leave the situation, then dive even deeper into surrender, deeper into the now, deeper into being. When you enter this timeless dimension of the present change, often happens in unexpected ways, without the need for significant actions on your part, and then life becomes favorable. Internal factors such as fear, guilt, and inertia that prevented you from acting dissolve in the light of your conscious presence by surrendering and directing your attention inward check for any trace of resistance within you. This is a simple but profoundly radical exercise. It consists of accepting what arises in the now, both internally and externally. This surrender brings simple yet profound wisdom. We do not oppose the flow of life. The only place where we can truly feel the flow of life is in the now. Surrender means accepting the present moment without reservations. It is letting go of internal resistance to what is. Internal resistance occurs when we say no to what is through our mental judgment and emotional negativity. This is especially sacred when things are not going well. What this means is that there is a space between the rigid demands or expectations of our mind and reality. As it is, this space is the space of suffering. If you have lived long enough, you surely know that things often do not go as planned. It is precisely in these moments that surrender must be practiced if we want to eliminate suffering and sadness from our lives. Accept whatever the present moment contains. Accept it as if you had chosen it. This acceptance of what is immediately frees us from identification with the mind and reconnects us with being surrendering to existence is a purely internal phenomenon. Notice how the mind classifies this moment and how this process of classification, this constant judgment, creates unhappiness by observing the mechanisms of the mind you distance yourself from its resistance patterns and can then allow the present moment to be. This will give you a glimpse of an inner state free from external conditions, a state of true and profound peace. This exact moment now is the only thing from which you can never escape the only constant factor in your life. Whatever happens, no matter how much your life changes, one thing is certain. It is always now. If you cannot escape the now, embrace it and treat it well. The more you surrender and live in the now, the more you will feel the simple and profound joy of being and the sacredness of life align yourself with the now always work with it, not against it. Make it a friend and ally, not an enemy. And miraculously it will transform your entire life. There is untapped power in a simple act of breathing of, feeling the air entering and leaving your lungs. This reconnects you to the now, to the essence of life. Breathing can be your anchor bringing you back to the present moment, to the here and now. Where life truly happens, breathe deeply. Feel that you are here and that this is what really matters. Remember that each breath is a new opportunity to start over. You do not need to wait for a new day, a new week, or a new year to change the course of your life. Each present moment carries the seed of renewal and rebirth. 
Embrace this truth with courage and let it guide your actions. Allow yourself to be fluid, adaptable, open to the change and transformation that the now offers life in its essence, is made of moments some light, others challenging, accepting this without resistance. Embracing each experience with gratitude is to embrace the totality of your being existence. Be present for the small miracles of everyday life. A child's smile, the glow of the sunset, the smell of wet earth after the rain. These are reminders that despite all our pursuits and yearnings, the beauty of life unfolds in simple gestures, in fleeting moments that often go unnoticed to achieve happiness. The secret is simple. Forget yourself. However, the more you try to get rid of your own shadow, the more it seems to cling to you. If you seek to escape pain, you will realize that in the attempt to flee, the agony only intensifies. Fear paralyzes you, and the desire for courage turns into fear itself. Trying to escape your essence puts you in a vicious cycle, especially in the form of constant worry. We recognize the futility of worry, but we continue to sink into it, because acknowledging its 